one of the kids I've been working with has been really struggling with school refusal. And they kind of have a more sensitive neural platform and system. And I can relate because I am also this way. The school hasn't been super supportive in helping the parent with this and addressing the child's specific needs. So they came to me and we started with the nervous system cheat sheet and like mapping their kid's nervous system and then figuring out how to support them when they're having these big reactions about school. I've also been seeing them one-on-one. -on -one. And this mom came to me and said, Lindsay, your cheat sheet helped me explain my child and their nervous system and the behaviors to the school so that they could be supportive. And I just want to tell you, this is the most empowering thing as a parent to be able to advocate for your child and say, this is what you need to do to help my child so that the school can follow through with it. And sometimes we don't have that information as parents, so we need to glean it from outside resources. But what this mother and child found were that once they addressed the nervous system piece, there was no school refusal. There was no need for the school to support. They could help in the interim, but then there was no need for it because it was just taken care of. Because when you address the root, the symptoms and the behaviors usually cease because the child's internal system feels safe and supported in entering that environment.